Welcome to Family Gamer TV. Now, as you may have known, we went out to E3 and saw a whole stack of games, but one game stood out strong and proud in our mind as the sort of the king of E3, and that was Minecraft on the PlayStation Vita. When I got home, that's the game my kids were asking about, and I shot some videos, so I got, I got them to have a look and let me know um, what they thought of it. But basically, the, the headline is, this is a full console version of Minecraft in a handheld form. It's the first time you'll be able to play Minecraft on the go, but you won't have to wrestle with all those Minecraft pocket limitations. Of course, the game's also coming out on PlayStation 4, and there you're gonna have some improved visuals. Um, there's talk of new skins. You'll be able to use the PlayStation 4 touchpad um, on the controller to navigate menus. Um, and you'll also have a whole stack of trophies. Um, I heard somebody talking about a new skin um, for Minecraft on PlayStation 4 uh, that was themed around the Journey game um, that I really like from that game company. But if we have a look at this PlayStation Vita version, it's really interesting to see how the game leads you into it with a tutorial um, and gets you started, but then it's completely that full console experience. So here as you just get settled down with Minecraft, what I wanted to do is to show you the full experience of what, you, what you'd get if you played the game from the start. So here we are, you can see there's a tutorial going on and what it does is it leads you through these different um, items that you have to complete so that it's sure then that you know how to play the game. Now of course most people watching this have probably played Minecraft from an early age but obviously the Vita takes Minecraft to a whole new audience, um, both older gamers, younger gamers, who maybe haven't played Minecraft already and to make sure that they get on board and they understand that the intricacies of the world um, it takes you through this tutorial. Now we've tried this out with some parents um, and they really like the idea of being able to come to Minecraft and being led into the game um, and being told how to play it step by step so they could see um, what their kids were enjoying. I think that's quite an interesting thing to do, potentially something that you maybe wouldn't want to get your parents on. So if they're saying how come you're spending so much time on Minecraft you can say, well, come and have a look. Put the Vita in their hands, and then they've got this tutorial. So as you can see, navigating around the world using the twin sticks, it works pretty well. But you do need to complete um, some of this tutorial before you can get any further. Um, you've got the, the, the sort of the shoulder buttons, um, which give you the, the digging and selecting. And then you've got the, the face buttons and touch screen. Now I just want to have a look around here so to see the sort of draw distance that you get. Um, you can see visually it looks pretty good. The frame rate did at times seem to stutter slightly. This probably isn't the finished code so again that's something I'm sure that they will um, clear up as they get closer to release. Um, but every aspect of the game um, was present there so you can see as I'm looking through the different menus um, this will be familiar to you if you play Minecraft on the console and you'll notice that we're, we're without those limitations that you'd normally get on Minecraft Pocket. Now, we still play Minecraft Pocket a lot in our family and we really enjoy it on the iPad with that really big screen, but still, we gravitate back to the console version and we've been playing on PlayStation 3. And as I've said, um, it's gonna come to PlayStation 4 as well. There'll be a new update, a new version on that platform. And that's gonna take advantage of those new, that new console's features. So there'll be online play, um, I think currently it's limited to a certain number, so it's not a full server. Um, but the, the controller itself will be used. Um, uh, you can use the touchpad, as I said. So if we just go and have a look at some of the options here, you, we can pick a different skin for our character. Of course, this will be familiar. So it's not new territory here, but seeing this on a PlayStation Vita is new. So let's just go and have a look um, through the rest of some of these, these menus, looking at the controls. So you can see there how the Vita controls are used and you've got those invert look options as well. If we move on, you can see all these um, in-game settings, uh, auto save time, audio settings, you can set up again just as if it was a PC version. Uh, we move, again, we'll move on to, to graphics, we can, we can set some settings to specify how we want the graphics to render and also um, how much um, opac opacity there is. Um, for the head-up display, what things are on the screen. So you've got that control that was in part lacking on the Minecraft Pocket Edition. Now you can see the people involved in this game, um, some of these names you may recognize, um, because this is the, sort of the same team that worked on that full PC version. And you can see in the background, we've got our Minecraft castle. So I think this is gonna be a, a sort of quite a big deal for the PlayStation Vita because the Vita previously has been sort of the territory of perhaps the older player, perhaps of dads, and I know that my kids are really keen to get to get on this. 
and as soon as they saw it was available they've been checking the um, PlayStation Vita store to see, see if it's available for, for them to go and play. So let's have a bit more of a look around the world now we've had a look at the settings and you can just get, a, get a sense of how the game is running. Of course we're just capturing footage off screen here so it's not going to give you a 100% sort of feel for the game but I can tell you being there in person you really didn't notice any lag. Um, the, the navigation around worked really well with those two little nubby sort of dual sticks. Again, anyone who's used a Vita knows that those are really nice ways to, na to navigate around. It does take a little bit of getting used to. If you're used to that mouse and keyboard setup, then you're gonna have to take a little bit of time just adjusting to the controls. Um, but once you do that, then you'll be away. Of course, we have our full weather effects as it starts raining as we're just playing this test area here. So I just want to have a, a little look around some of the architecture on display. Again, this should be familiar to some of you, but um, seeing it on that Vita screen, and it really is that nice, bright, it depends which version of Vita you've got, either OLED or LCD um, screen. I'll just work out how to open the door. Um, it gives you that complete uh, Minecraft experience. So there weren't that many people sort of hustling and bustling around the Vita version of Minecraft at E3. We found it quite easy to go and film, whereas some other games got more attention. Um, but like I said, I think this is a bigger deal than many people realise, and potentially the moment when the Vita will cross over from maybe a sort of a core gamers platform to something that families will really consider. And the new packs available for Vita mean that it actually is a pretty affordable option. And certainly families we've talked to have been looking at it seriously as an alternative to going down the Nintendo DS route. So if we just exit out a minute and go back to the, the start screen just to see what other options we've got here. So um, we can change skin as a how to play menu, just go back up, start a game, game again work out how to use these menus and you can see you can either start a game or join a game now th now this is interesting because it means you can play a multiplayer version of um, Minecraft on the Vita in a local in a local essentially a local server um, so if you've got your stuff, stuff set up it will use that Wi-Fi connection you have to play against other mem members of the family now, I don't know if you could do this across different platforms whether you could play on Minecraft Vita across to the PlayStation 4 which I think would be an, an interesting way to go of course, if you've got it on PlayStation 4, then you can use the Vita in remote play mode to access the full PlayStation 4 version of the game. So now we've got another Vita here, so we're going to spend a bit of time setting them up, getting our server set up. We're going to come back with another video that um, has a close look at what it's like playing multiplayer um, with two Vitas um, in, in hand in the same room. So I really like the way that that setup should work. Now if you want to have more on Minecraft from Family Gamer TV, one way to do that is to subscribe to the channel, then you'll get a notification as soon as any of our videos go up. Do comment, we'd love to hear what you make of Minecraft Vita, what you think we should be doing in terms of our coverage of Minecraft, um, and you know, just let us know what works for you. What other games are you playing? Particularly, do you have a Vita? Are you a younger player that has a Vita and are you playing other games? We're really enjoying Spelunky on the Vita and Oli Oli was a great game. Um, and um, PlayStation Pets, my um, younger son has been enjoying as well, and you'll know about those from the channel if you're a regular viewer. So that's all we've got time for today, but we'll be back with more soon.